everyone and welcome to a festive get ready with me video. So in this video you're going to see me applying this makeup look and a little bit of kind of talk about this hairstyle as well. I use the Lauren's Way Velcro Rollers and like I said at the end of the video I'm not 100% sure if I like the result that they give but that's probably just because my hair is naturally um, curly. If you had straight hair I think they work really well. But I'm going to let you get on into the video now and hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to talk you through what I used as my base first because I've just done my foundation and that kind of thing because I thought there wasn't much point in showing you that. My foundation is the 17 Stay Time Foundation because it's a nice kind of full coverage beautifying foundation. My skin's been looking a little bit rubbish lately. And then for concealer I've got the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer under my eyes and some of the 17 Stay Time in kind of a V motion on any other areas kind of below here. And then I've also got um, some of the Clarins um, what's this called? Instant Light Brush on Perfector. I love this. I've got it kind of under my brow bone and here, a little bit on my cupid's bow. And I set that all with powder. And for bronzer, I used an excessive amount, um, but just because I kind of like to layer it, so I just do small layers. So all over, I've just got a little bit of the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in Universal Sun. Then to add a little bit of a shimmer, I've got some of the um, Bourjois gold bronzing powder. First time I used it, I've still got the kind of um, packaging on it, but really pretty. And then for a contour, before I powdered, I just used a little bit of a cream bronzer, the 17 um, Instant Glow Cream Bronzer, just a small amount of that into the hollows. And then on top of that, my beloved MUA powder. So that's kind of my base done. And then my brows, I use the Cosmetics a la carte um, brow defining pencil. I haven't got that at hand to show you. But I'm going to start with my eye makeup. And as a base, I'm going to use one of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. And these are amazing because they're really long lasting and they give you a nice kind of layer of shimmer first. So this one is in Frosted, Sugar Frost, sorry. I'm just going to kind of put this all over my lid and then blend that out. And you can already see kind of the shimmer that this gives. You could do a really nice kind of easy quick eye actually with just a few of these, but I'm going to just use this as my base. And I'm taking a little bit kind of into the inner corner as well, because I think that just looks really pretty. So just taking that all over. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the um, Natural Eyes, Too Faced Natural Eye Palette which looks like this. And I haven't used this for ages and I'm really excited to use it. So I'm going to start with the shade Honey Pot, which is this lovely gold shade here. Because let's face it, if you can't wear gold, kind of Christmas, red and gold are kind of Christmassy makeup colors to me. I don't tend to wear gold kind of in the winter time apart from Christmas. So I'm just going to, with a flat brush, pop this all over my lid. And if you haven't got this palette, a good alternative would be maybe something like, um, Half Baked from the Urban Decay Naked Palette or from the Dupe um, Palette from MUA for the Naked Palette, they do really lovely gold. But this is really pretty and it's kind of not too warm and not too orangey. You do get a little bit of fallout but I just tend to kind of flick it off and that's fine. You could kind of powder if you wanted to but it's not too bad. And I want to kind of focus the majority of it kind of in the middle of my lid because I feel like that's where it picks it up the most. So that's the lid colour I'm going for, and then in my crease I'm going to just pop a little bit of this shade right here, which is Cocoa Puff, which is just a kind of shimmery deep brown. So just with a kind of fluffy crease brush, get rid of any excess, and just put that kind of on the crease area. You know if you watch my videos, I always um, do it above because I've got slightly hooded eyes and I'm just going to kind of carry it in a V shape down here just to kind of intensify the look and then blend that out so it's really kind of subtle and smoky. So just really, really, really blend it nicely and you kind of want to really just blend it out so it's almost undetectable in terms of colour, it's just kind of like a nice smoky shadow. And I kind of do take it higher up than I normally would. But that's because of the shape of my eyes. I've got quite a big gap between my brow and my eyelids. So I find that that kind of works with my eye shape. But obviously if it doesn't work for your eye shape, then kind of do it however works for you. But I'm happy with that. That's kind of a slightly more sultry, smoky look than I would usually go for. And then I might just take a small amount of that actually on a kind of smoky powder brush under my lower lash line, just to kind of intensify the look. So just a small amount. 
I don't really like dark thing, dark colours under my lower lash line, but just to connect it. Just a small amount and then just smudge that out as well. I'm going to smudge that out with my finger. Sorry if it looks weird if I'm looking down, it's just because I, I'm looking into the mirror. But I'm really happy with that. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner. And for that, I'm going to use my beloved Revlon Skinny Liner, the Colorstay one. So, I'm going to do a slightly more dramatic line than I normally would as well. And I do need to kind of move a little bit closer to the mirror to be able to see what I'm doing for this. And I've got a hair on my face. How annoying is that when that happens? Got it. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of take it lower in um, than I normally would, kind of deeper into the socket. Well, not the socket, the kind of inner part of my eye. And then just get a little bit more and connect it. to kind of work on this a little bit more because the mirror is not close enough for me to be able to look at what I'm doing properly. I'm going to bring the mirror a little bit closer so I can really see. And just fill in that gap. There. And sharpen the wing. So I'm happy with that, I might just kind of perfect it a little bit with a cotton bud, but I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and do my other eye and then come back So now and that I've got both do. eyes done, I'm going to move on to blush, but I'll just talk you through the mascara I used. I used the Avon Super Shock Mascara, it's the first time I've ever used this. I rarely like mascara on first use, so I'm not going to judge it for that, but the brush was quite nice, but I feel like it kind of doesn't actually give that much impact in terms of volume, considering it's called Super Shock. Um, then for blusher, I'm just going to use a small amount of blush because I'm going to do a red lip and I don't like it kind of to be too full on. So I'm using this one from Envy Makeup and it's called Rose Blush. It's just a little kind of cream. These are very pigmented so kind of don't go in with too much. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this into the apples of my cheeks just because I feel like my face can't really get away with not wearing any blush at all. But it's difficult when you're wearing a red lip to kind of not look too, um, like you've got too much blush on. So just pop that onto the top of your cheekbones and blend it in and it just kind of will give your face a bit of colour. And then I'm going to go in with some lip liner and I'm going to just use a nude one because the lipstick I'm going to show you in a minute, you don't actually need to wear a red lip liner with it, it's really cool. So I'm just going to line up my lips. Just kind of like I always do. And I'm going to add maybe just a tiny amount of highlighter on my Cupid's bow again, just to kind of make everything look pretty. And I'm using the Clarins Instant Light. Just a little bit on there. And then I'm going to use this kind of chubby lip pencil from Envy Makeup. And it's in the shade Chili Pepper. I believe, let me just double check that, yeah. And it's really easy because you can get a lovely shape but it's a very, very pretty, flattering red. So I'm going to pop it on now and you'll kind of see it's a type of red that's very, um, it reminds me of like Kate Beckinsale in Pearl Harbor. It's that kind of red. It's a really flattering red. as you can see there it's just got a kind of hint of shimmer in it but it's also got a little bit of a pinky tone and I would actually recommend you block this and reapply um, so it lasts all night but I really like this look I think it's a really kind of pretty party look so now I'm going to go ahead and get my hair out of these rollers and show you my little hair um, kind of 
Christmas look. I hope this worked because as I mentioned, um, actually I don't know if I mentioned this before, but basically yeah, these are the Lauren's Way rollers. That's why I've got them in. I've had them in for hours today and I'm gonna get them out and kind of see how I like the look that they give, but I'm really looking forward to I took the Velcro do. rollers out and this is what I'm left with. And if I'm being honest, I'm not actually 100% sure that I like it. It kind of feels a little bit 70s for me. Um, but the problem is with my hair is my hair is so soft that it really struggles to kind of um, look decent kind of when you style it it just refuses to it's just too soft it kind of hasn't got enough grip to it so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it I mean I don't hate it but I don't love it like I feel like it just looks a bit weird and a bit kind of like 1970s housewife um I could do with like a little bit of hairspray so maybe we'll see if that helps this is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Fix and Shine hairspray kind of just isn't totally smooth I think those rollers would be really good like they're very easy to use and everything if you did have naturally straight hair but obviously because mine isn't I just wanted kind of a bit of a glam wave um but kind of if I wear it kind of in a middle parting with this didn't really work too well for me I don't think I think maybe I need to I do this sometimes pop a bit of hairspray on your hand then you can really get it into the roots a nice trick but you can see kind of it's soft hair it'll probably settle and by the time I need to go out it'll look okay maybe I'll kind of do like a half up half down type of thing somehow not sure yet in my mind I was going to get it out and it was going to look like Kelly Brook but when was that really going to happen but I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me it was probably a bit incoherent because that's what my videos are usually like but I hope you'll have a great great festive season and I'll see you next time bye